What's up, my people? On a new site. Beautiful country site. Crusher run, threes, 500 foot of pipe, Kubota SVL 90 2, Komatsu PC 88 MR 8. Basically, you see the big watershed we got here on this. Uh, roof it's about 150 foot this way 50 or 60 that way we're gonna put a french drain four foot out you know around 40 inches out whatever the width of that bucket is we're gonna go down a foot start at a foot a foot on each end and bring you know have it tapered to a t here and then daylight it all the way around to that white fence and out those two fences that's the only the best spot to get it away from the parking area because they already got tons of water going down this way so once we come straight across here We'll be into the right out hug the grass line where no vehicles will be so we don't have to worry about pipes getting crushed this is only horse traffic here but right here there is some heavier stuff um but we're going to backfill with crusher run under all this pipe here compact it all up so no horses get any sinking issues and uh same thing with this this will all be it's all perforated pipe along the building and then solid pipe this way so Let's clarify this now. We are using perforated uh, corrugated pipe for French drain systems because that is the best for a French drain. Um, it's not like a footing drain or anything like that. What these corrugated pipes do is cause turbulence in the into the system. So it's like basically self-cleaning. So when all these leaves, which this whole roof is full of leaves, as you see here, biodegrade and go down into the stone, into the pipe, when the water comes rushing through, it hits these riffles and turbulence goes and it actually cleans the pipe. It causes the velocity as if you took a hose and just had it wide open and tried to blow your patio off or put your thumb on it and spray it and it's a lot better. So that's basically French drain systems. You wanna use that pipe. Do not use the solid smooth bottom with the two holes. I, they're the ones that will plug them holes up and then you're done. So, <clears throat> Coming across here, same thing out where the door openings are, will be crusher run going in so the horses do not step on the rocks. This will all be new crusher run here. Our pitches are very, very, like from, it, obviously the building's dead level, I shot everything. So our pitches going, getting water out to those trees are very minimal, uh, you know, three, four, five inches tops i mean this is pretty flat we were gonna have to cut some kind of create some kind of swell in there to get out um hey horses the uh over here is where they wash the horses so we're gonna have that pipe come here and just do a loop and connect back in fill all stone in the bottom of this for right here for now and that will uh let water hit this pipe and get on out too well, that's the gist of it in about three minutes. Um, these two trees also got to come down. They're going to be out of the way because when they swing around, they're always uh, in the way. We, this, this is a leach field here because at first we were going to propose just cutting the grade out. But again, they have so much water going down here. They don't want to produce more water. But anyways, there's a leach field here, so we can't disturb this area. Uh, we're just going to stay out. We got a pipe coming out to the tank by that white fence. So we we'll got to play where we got to start probably right where that eave is where the gable end is that's where the most water is anyway so boom here t right out to where the excavator is the t will be right here i'm talking too much i know just trying to give it to you guys so i could just go with it and then it's going to come over to here to the grass and then start to go and we got the boost uh. All right, we're gonna start on this corner first, like we said, just so we can put the horse traffic back in here in the morning. Today's the slowest day, that's why we picked today. There's nobody here to do this, so we're just gonna scrape these leaves out, just so I can get a clean slate of what we got going here. Just scraping away this hard ground right here. We got a hump, we're gonna get the grade first. Get the grade established first before we even attempt to put a pipe in. Keep telling. 
myself to move that hose. Gotta get the laser out. See where we are. Like I said, there's not much room. There's not much room for air. There we go. That's a good bite. Break it up. Break that crust up. We're gonna put all, we're gonna put all new stone down. Man, I just shot it with the laser. We got one inch, inch and a half. It's dead level the whole way back here, but in order for us to get water to go down here where he's leaving now, right there is an inch and a half. <laughs> That's not good. Oh yeah. Red wrote his blower. Nice. We're getting a great cut here. Uh, about two inch positive pitch away from that concrete. Like I said, that floods out the first four stalls pretty good. So we've got two inches of pitch going there. Worst case, we create a swale in the center, get it to our trench. But it's not much fall through here. And we knew that. We were debating whether to put a, a dry well in back in here and then but then you know obviously it's best to gravity feed daylight if you can rather than rely on a on a uh on something that could fail to and freeze up which is it's good gravel here i know the drainages work and we may if we ever get to this project this side um we may just tie into something here i don't know but right here's the where they wash the horses it's not ideal because we got to get the water all the way there, but we're just going to rough this up right now with the with the hoe. I can't really swing or do nothing in here, and then come in with the skid steer and get it on out. Oh, it's tight in here. We're just going to skim this, see what we got underneath, because this is already low to what we got. I think my phone just rang. I think my phone just rang. I'm waiting for a call. Only taking the surface on this. We're gonna fill this right up with stone. Dig it down. Actually, we're gonna dig this down a foot here. But then the stone's gonna be a little higher. Watch that Eve up there, dirt boss. Watch that Eve. Pull it in and out and around from the building. Tilt bucket on a slight tilt. Diesel tilt bucket. Got an old got three posts there. That's an old one. The other post that I just took out didn't have no concrete. This is nice. Get over here close to that building. Pull her on out. Pull her on. Oh yeah. 
we're getting it. We'll get grade and get the water on out of here slowly but surely. Over the years, you know, I'm sure it was good. Over the years, you, you get two inches of crust on there like nothing. You know, you, you build it up, you build it up, and stop the water. There wasn't much to play with. I mean, you see these connexes are three, four foot higher than where I'm sitting right now. And the back where they wash the horses, it's even worse. Look at the bank. There's 12 foot banks there. So when they originally put this in, they just put the grade just enough to get the building in, obviously. All right, he's on out of here. That should be enough of the crusher run to get out of here. We're stockpiling that for potholes. We hit a bank of shale. We got some shale rock that just opened up the core to act as a natural uh, dry well. That will drain some water in itself. We got our the back all established where we want our pipe and our height. So we're one foot down from the, this corner of the building. And then we will set that pipe at that one foot lower than our, our floor. Well, it's actually about 14 inches lower than the floor. And then we'll run it from there and pitch it to the T. To the T. You can't, you can't see the laser, so I got to get this out of the way so we can see the laser. We're going to reset the laser in a minute. So I'm not in the way, but I got to get this out of here. Then I'll go. Oh, we decided to take it. Take the oh we got hot here. We got we decided to take the concrete because it's a little bit, but then we got more out here. What's going on there? Oh boy, we got very concrete here. Very concrete. Well we'll figure that out. This stuff was only two inches thick, so I was like, yeah, might as well take it. Yeah. Shale buried, or buried, natural shale, I should say. We'll get it. Didn't know it was in the ground, but we'll get it. Come on. A little bit of concrete. A little bit of shale. To run this down to my yard. I'm not gonna bury it on the guy's property. We're only the next farm over is my farm, so our property's border. We've done a lot of work on this property with the previous owner. It's new, new ownership now. recommended to work here so that's why I'm here. Oh we got grade going. We're about halfway uh, over halfway down this one side and uh, right where red is standing we got ourselves six inches of pitch on the pipe which is way plenty. Plus, we want to be the reason why we're going with the pitch to this corner because we got the other distance that's 148 feet. We want to make sure the water gets out, but not only that, we want to be at least two foot below the driveway where we're crossing. We're going to be crossing all the crusher run, but we want, you know, this pipe's not the strongest pipe. So if it's two foot in the ground and compact it up with, uh, Crusher run, we're good to go. It never will. Nothing sinks two foot around here. No, we're, we're good on that. But that's the that's the main reason why I wanted to get the pitch and figure all that out to get to that corner of. Uh, he says it's good there. He's learning the laser quick. Gotta love it. Clean your edges. Clean your edges. Now after this, once we get this run, we're gonna come in with fabric, put fabric all in that trench, and then we're gonna put um, the pipe and then backfill with number three stone. Number three round 
looking stone. It's a good looking stone, and it's also good drainage stone. I don't know about you guys, what's going on in your neck of the woods with the quarries, but we are like high, high in price A, and a shortage, we got a shortage of gravel. These quarries are running dry. I don't, it's getting scary, to tell you the truth. Because we're from a mining town, we got several pits, but hey, they you know they can't get re-permitted and all this stuff goes on, so it, it, it's causing a lot of issues. And then it monopolizes one one quarry. Everybody's got to go there, and then they jack their prices up, and you know how that goes. All right, we're past all the doors and we're just about to the corner and we're just about two foot in the ground just at our marks this is hard to dig a trench like this just like i was telling him most of our trenches or footings or anything you, your logic is to dig dead level we're digging out a slope okay we're going an inch every four foot and it's tricky because on a laser you know unless you have the slope laser which but this laser does slope but for some reason i can never figure that out on this laser don't know if it's broke or what but i tried doing it on subgrade for two inch floors on concrete floors and i can never get it to work but tonight maybe i'll tinker with it again after halloween it is halloween and uh because when we do this 148 foot run i would like to have this to do it with the laser without have to do it this way you could just do it and run the laser dead level because it's automatically showing the slope but it's showing level on the laser that's nice it's faster but we're getting it we figured you know i showed him how to do it and we got that trench perfect so we'll be two foot in the ground by the time we get to this end and throw the fabric in it throw the pipe in it clean our spoils up over here and then this part is good for today because we got a late start by the time I mobilized and did everything I had to do today I wanted to get it up all in but for the horses tomorrow but uh it's not looking that way he said something to me I didn't I was talking to you what is it two down two down two down the corner there's the scoop to the corner that's the money scoop right there and like i said the we'll be two foot under the driveway we're only passing this driveway for 15 feet which is right here you know going right over to my other bucket that's cutting over really not heavy traffic here but you never know a delivery for something but we want it under we want it deep enough all right this is all closed out the grade is good on this and we are going to go right there. Uh, I'm going to clean this all up with the boost of them spoils, bring them back to my yard, and then um, fabric and stone. But I think we got to go. We're going to wash and tape off the doors right now, and we'll be back in the morning. Back on site. Getting the pipe cut. Got the fabric going. Did a little homework last night, figured out how to do the slope on the laser. Like I said, I very rarely do slopes, and uh, if we do, we just figure it out as we go. But um, so basically, there's guide marks on the top of that laser. They got to be lined in down a down the trench, um, and that's what we got here. So we checked all that. That it was all within a half inch, anyways, with that slope, which was good. Um, fabric, we'll stretch that out, lay it along the bottom of the trench. Pipe will go in it, and then stone. We're stapling the fabric to the walls that's going to create a nice u keep that water from going into that building and channeling everything to that pipe got our circle down here with the t it's going to be like the wash area for the horses this is where they do that down here we're not doing nothing i mean eventually they may uh i might be able to grade everything to this point but um, as of right now, that's staying the way it is. This is what we're contracted to do. All right, first load covering the pipe. Just hold that pipe till bucket in action. Stone because of the uh, 
depth of the trench, but it is what it is. The quarry just, these were the last, honestly, the last two loads. He's scrounging me up one now. It's like crazy what's going on in our town. Crazy. So you gotta hold the pipe as you dump. Try to dump on both sides. Otherwise the pipe will either float up or push left or right. fabric going in under we got stone over the pipe this is in front of the doorway and we're gonna throw a crusher right in here because again this is all gonna get blue crusher run we're gonna be two foot off the house the barn with the French drain and the stone and this is uh, so they get their tractors in and stuff and horses and not have to worry about sinking horses do not like to walk on stone so we're giving them the crusher treatment. And we will compact that with a plate compactor. Well, this is the perks by uh, working next door to our house. The fam brought me some uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Hey, Sammy. Hi. <laughs> Say hey, Dad. Hi, Daddy. All right, back out without hitting the equipment. got my swell going here we're stopping there because we got that trench coming across here then we'll even make the swell better because it's going to roll out everything's finished going up in the grade is nice it's going to come out here water coming off this hill because it's a big hill it don't show on the camera but it's going to hit this trench and go pretty you know an inch or two in this area we're kind of flat but anything you're going to roll into that snow or whatever into this big trench we kept it two foot off the building but you gotta remember the stone is deeper it's back into here 
but we just made a two foot line to make it look nice and the horses for the horses so that they could walk in here but the stone is actually like 30 inches the trench itself back here we have that loop with the stone we'll put those mats back on here for the wash bay but yeah everything's looking good so far we'll tighten up our edges and tighten up rake out what we got to rake out but this is just roughed in looks good we got murphy here look at a donut coming out of his mouth he sure does love donuts oh there it is oh we got daylight trench going in stretching out the pipe got our tea there we'll dig that tomorrow this trench is going in it's all nice beautiful gravel we shot elevation we'll have a uh, two and a half foot of a pitch going out that bank about 200 feet down but we did hit some shale i spoke too soon i'm like oh we'll have this dug in 40 minutes i'm making a lot of nice beautiful rocks though look at that all right let's see if we can break it loose she is breaking up around here it's it, like on my farm it's the same way either gravel sand shell all within all within feet of each other there we go we're through let's hopefully let's hope that's the last of that nonsense that's some nice riprap though i gotta give mother nature credit on that one. or should i give uh Komatsu credit for that one. Man. It goes right through your stomach. I'm about to get sick. Picks you right up and throws, throws you down in the seat. I just eat chicken nuggets.
I had 2,000 acres to hunt, not one house around. This is our farm and another farm on this road. Now it's getting developed. I got any hunters that watch the channel? Any bow hunters? What state you from? You got the big boys, the big bucks. Out west, you know, Iowa, Ohio. I spent 10 years down in Ohio bow hunting. I wanted to go this year, but really haven't been able to do much hunting since my dad passed. That was our thing, you know. Now my son's coming of age, he's 12, and I gotta get back into it. Back into gravel and nice silty sandy stuff. This stuff's like processed right here. Unbelievable. Another third, it was another 30 feet roughly. We're just about daylight and this was a little knob in the hill right here. We had to get out. And then we're gonna be daylight. Boy, this is some nice material right here. That kind of stuff just makes me want to go to town and open up a mine. That's money right there. Money. A couple more scoops and we're out. All right, Red's going to raise it up and show us the pitch. Keep on going. I know you got two feet there. Right there. Two foot of pitch on that pipe. Nice and nice. All right, there's our daylight pipe. I'm gonna backfill. He's gonna hold it as I backfill at the same time. Track it in, pack it in, then grab the tamper and give it another little jiggle jiggle. Just because normally we wouldn't, we track and pack would be fine. But we have horses here. We do not need any issues. So we will compact it with a diesel plate compactor. Oh, we're still backfilling. gonna dump some of this repurposed crush run in over this where the right there good I don't want to mix them rocks nice. I don't want to mix them rocks over that pipe nice and slow lift up as you go we'll let it trickle in nice Same thing right here. Old Red's getting it. Wow, look at this, we got a treat, we got Max bringing us some drinks. We got coffees and drinks today. What's up, dude? Hey. Thanks. Grapefruit. One for red too? Yep. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. You wanna say you wanna say hi to everybody? Hey. <laughs> Max home from school today. They had no school today, day after oh, Halloween. Good. What's that? Yeah, keep coming. Water. Oh, yeah. Nice and slow. Let it trickle in. I'm in the hole. I'm in the hole. We don't want to hurt the pipe. Nice and slow when you get over that pipe. Keep coming. Let her trickle in nice and slow. Just like that. Nice. Keep coming. Keep coming. Oh yeah, then we'll connect here, get that, get the same thing as we did here tomorrow. But right now, we get rain, it ain't no big deal. We got daylight. Hang on, oh, I, got a, I got a hollow spot right here. See, I saw that. That would cause issues right there. Let the dirt go down and behind there, because then 
it would settle out once we got rain it just crossed this stuff from the crusher run but we don't want no issues so we're gonna flip that over and let the let it get under it there we go there we go we gotta increase the oil flow for the tamper to 33 and let's see what she's got oh yeah Nice having two machines running at once again. Boy, I'm just having an operator working with me. Oh yeah, look at that settle down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Create my swale too. We'll leave it just a little low. Top it with a pressure run. Gotta love the diesel compactor. You guys need to go over to diesel equipment if you have it. Check out their website, it's wicked easy to use. Tell them their boss sent you. At the end of the day, we got a daylight. At the end of the day. I mean, at the end of the afternoon. We still got 12 hours in a day, huh? 24 hours. We work 12. It's a half a day. All right, well, we got this roughed in. Just whatever was that left over with the original crusher run we ripped up. I still got a nice pile there to dress the top coat after this project's over. The swale, as you can see, is running out of that building. So we cut this quite a bit to get that out um because it was flat off this i mean this obviously this pole barn is completely flat around and everything is up so high over here so i just created a, a ditch swale say two inches pitch to get to that anything else snow melt or anything's going in our trenches and out of here i mean this trench is deep three foot wide 26 inches deep here at this point number three stone we got fabric over the you guys seen this we put fabric double layer fabric because we had crusher run so that crusher run doesn't mix down in there not that it ever would or hurt everything's compacted where these horses are going in and we got the horse bay over here for the wash the mats will go on top of that so anything that comes off this is a 10 foot wall here snow all that stuff's going into this circle pipe i got anyways and out of here in the future if we want to grade this we we'll probably could grade things to get here maybe put in a, a shallow french drain into this and uh get that pipe flooding more stayed away two foot from the building here even though our stone is three just for the horse footprint and in the front tomorrow we'll do the full three all the way because horses don't go out that way one more day here and this place is wrapped up 500 foot of pipe looking good uh only got a day and a half in it now so this is where we're gonna go tomorrow see you in the a.m back on site two trees gotta go gonna fire up the kamatsu knock those down with the stump and put them over on the back side of those trees oh yeah can only stay nice for so long gotta feed the horses get the bedding in is what it is
we're gonna tie into this T here. I gotta extend my fabric under this pipe. You can see the fabric right there. We'll just extend it here. Cut this all the way down after these trees are removed. And I got 10 more ton this morning of stone. Should be good to go. All right, I'm gonna try to get this down as least messy as I can to get it all in one whole shot. Looks like that ain't gonna bend. That's stronger than I thought. Wow. Get on over here and push it this way. Wow. They're uh, stronger than I had thought. They're like a rubber elm, I believe. I don't even know. These ain't even like trees. They're like just overgrown. Overgrown something, but it's like rubber. I'm gonna have to dig it out. Thought she would push. Break a little Rudy Rudy Tooty Tooty. There you go. Just need a little persuasion to her, you know? Maybe I am with a little trickery. Spin the bucket and machine like so. Bring it to me, maybe if we get in here. I'm tight to the fence now on my butt, but I think we're gonna work. We'll be fine. As long as I'm, let me see. Yeah, I'm pretty close, but we're good. We'll get through there. Go easy. We'll get through. Uh, we made it. All right. All right, we're all lined up here on this long stretch. We're gonna go from one foot to two foot in this trench. I do have the laser set on the boom, and I also have the laser set at slope mode, which honestly, guys, I, I never, I'm embarrassed. I never used slope mode. I never really thought to figure it out because most of the stuff we do, you know, footings and all that are, are pitch, daylight drains as you go with the grade if, if you can. This makes so much easier because you do have to per, put a percentage on French drains so you get the riffle effect, it, it, otherwise it does fail. So we're about a uh, percent and a half to get down to that um at this distance uh got a couple obstacles here i got the the soffit up above i got the boom cocked i gotta watch out for my swing over here because this isn't a zero swing machine but it's not a full swing if they call it a midi m-i-d-i machine but this is where we're at we got the septic tank just about uh, where my laser is coming out so i know not to go there but we're catching it right at the valley of the eve so we'll know that's where we want to start and that's where we're going with this all right there we are we set the laser green is grayed on the boom we're good to go if you go a little high see it goes blue if you go down a little it's red and then it's got the beep some bells and whistles so we're good to go what an awesome combination huh komatsu and hydrema right here perfect setup perfect setup hydrema doesn't disturb any lawn that's what i love about it and it she'll hold 10 ton like nothing i mean i've had obviously more on it but that's what she's rated for she floats with them big tires there's a grade there just going ever so slightly nicely all topsoil here all right we got red here with us keep coming keep coming
just closing this trench out. Sun's in your eyes, sun's in my eyes. You got, can't really see nothing here. Get with you, I just wanted to show you this clip, me back in the cab, straddling the hole behind me. Gotta watch that top knuckle on that boom, don't go through the barn on the right. I'm not, I don't have my uh, angle all the way, I'm gonna do that right now. Let me get this angled all the way up and over. There we go. Now, I'll be safe. Get tight to the barn, at least she's scraping away pretty good. All right. All right, we're better positioned now. We can pull right through, and I'm straight, not I'm looking at it. I mean, you know, like over the tracks. All right, fabric is all in. Everything's pitched. We double checked it, even with the stick. Throwing the pipe in now. All right, over here, right above that, uh, where the gable meets, where we get tons of water. Here it was a road, and we made a big box here with the loop. With the pipe, we'll fill that whole thing with stone and right on out. All right, first load of stone over the T. I told you to hold that T together. All right, he got it. We put it back together. That's why you gotta hold them or put a screw in them. The stone is in, just tracking this sod edge down flat so it meets the stone nice and nice. <coughs> A little restoration on our driveway, load out the rest of the stone in the busa. Sugar coat the driveway with the rest of the other stone, no crusher run. This one is done. One more pack job here. Sprinkle, sprinkle to our edge. All right. Everything is done but this. Just polishing off the top of the driveway that we disturbed. Shaping it. Water out with my swell. Looking good. Everything's pitching out to our daylight drain. Got that nice swale going there. Look at those lines on that French drain, huh? Perfect. Look at these lines. 
Wow, that's gonna look really nice when the stone gets all clean. Grass comes back in nice. Everything looks superb. Everything come out nice. In a little over two days with this project, probably in time. Uh, super stoked the way it come out though. Horses should stay dry this year. It was flooding out, especially in that corner. So uh, this one's a wrap, guys. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Because I sure did. Catch you guys on the next one.